What's up, Bassa Babe? It's your girl Joy back with another video. The lighting is not cute up in here today, honey. The lights went out. Let me tell you, it, it could drizzle in Texas and stuff be going out of service. <laughs> if this is your first time tuning in into this chaos, the channel where I make lemonade out of my lemons, <laughs> make sure you hit the subscribe button, child. You don't want to miss nothing that comes off this channel. And I keep it real, real, the real deal. Welcome to the real deal channel. You don't want to miss what's going down, down, down. <laughs> you would think that my life is just wonderful as silly as I am. It's not. <laughs> it is a hot mess to put. Whatever. I got my health. <laughs> you know, I'm, whatever. It could be worse. Could be worse. Could we? Could be worse. So anyway. The kids, we lost power today. It was hot. Um, they're doing their um, state testing tomorrow and the next day. Who knows when I'm going to get this up, hunty. But I always say, and I won't be in this room for testing. So somebody else is going to be in here. So that means I need to get my stuff up out of here. You know, I won't be back next year. So when this chair goes, that means... It's over. <laughs> and then I was trying to officially resign from this school because they have to release my service records. Your service records is how long you've been at the school. Because as a teacher, you get paid for, you get extra money depending on how many years you've been out of school. So if you've been out of school for 10, 15 years or teaching for 10, 15 years, and you got records to prove that, Hunty, you getting a good chunk of change, okay? You getting a good chunk of change. So <laughs> for me, um, you know, it hasn't been too long, but no, you want to get your time served. You need your time served. So that service record is like gold. You, you can't lose your service records as a teacher. Anyway, so a hunty, I'm about to get my chair out of here because I won't be in this classroom. And I know I showed y'all my garage. I know I did. I let you into my life. I, I did. Okay. The stuff belongs in the classroom. Some people's like, well, I have a garage sale. I have a garage sale. You need to get rid of it. People, I specifically said the stuff belongs into my classroom. I know it looked a hot mess. I know. And I can take all that hot mess and create something amazing out of it, believe it or not. <laughs> um, so the stuff actually goes inside a classroom. Once I'm done with the classroom, it'll look like a little maybe coffee lounge or a living room. So it does all fit into a space. <laughs> so it does belong somewhere. I just have to get inside a classroom to therefore then place the things where they belong. <laughs> it's not junk. And um, somebody said, oh, I want that brick paper. That paper, I put that paper on my wall every year. <laughs> so I need the paper. I may not even have enough. So, and I want to try some new design ideas or whatever, but no, the stuff goes inside of a classroom, people. I know it looked crazy. I know it did, and that's how my mind is. But once I get it all worked out, Something beautiful is created from that. So I like to call my mind a beautiful mind because it thinks differently. So where you honestly, seriously though, no all jokes aside, where you guys have may have seen chaos, to me, sometimes that's how my brain works. But then after I move the pieces of that puzzle around, I create amazing things from it. I can even take a piece of paper. Let me see this piece of paper. Let me get a piece of paper, right? Let me just make sure nothing's on here, child. I could get a plain piece of paper. Plain, plain, plain. See that? Plain piece of paper. Right? And just so you can see it, I'll do this. Just so you see. And look at this right here. Now look at that. You see that? See? Where you see just random lines and nothing, I see the potential in this. I can create something beautiful out of those lines. I can grow, grow something beautiful out of that. It's just how my mind works. You know, I, I, I say I doodle. But this right here is an opportunity 
for something magical. And that's just how my mind works. So all jokes aside, where a lot of you have seen chaos, when I go into a classroom, my classroom, you know, when I move everything in it and I do use a U-Haul when I go flip a, a full classroom, it looks like that. And then someone said, I don't know how you work like this, but it works for my brain because I have a beautiful brain. It thinks and it works differently from the average person. <laughs> so I'll work it out and I do appreciate all the stuff. And although you guys are sending me stuff, which I appreciate, um, remember, I'm going to be converting to 100% alternative seating. So I'll have tables and those tables will not have seats. So if all the balls and this and that you guys have donated, there's a place for them. Then I'll have um, an old table that I'll be bringing in, but that table doesn't have chairs. So you see, it all comes together with all that stuff in there. <laughs> it works. And I'm going to show you how it works and how my brain works. <laughs> so with that said, I need to officially resign. The internet is acting up at school. So I'm going to have to do it when I get home. Because, Hanti, if you don't resign on time, they keep you at the school, you know. It's kind of like they hold you to that contract. And I didn't know whether or not I would get a job. So I signed the contract here to make sure I had a job because I, 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 I need a job. Baby, let me tell you, it's real when you don't get child support, honey. It's real. I just don't understand how somebody could go on about their life and not realize that their children need to be taken care of. And it's expensive. And Bobby's basketball, whew. And you know, I kind of want to support the kids as much as I can. And you know, there's, there's possible scholarship opportunities. I don't know, I don't know. But it's like I'm investing in, in her, in her dreams. My mom didn't invest in mine. Okay, I have to take this out. Uh, Cha, I had to take that call. Look, it wasn't good news. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Anyway, I was on here to talk about my chair. So I need to load up my chair. And usually when the chair goes, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. You know, I'm the phoenix. Who always rises I have no other choice but to be okay it is what it is okay let's get this chair out of here let's get this show on the road <laughs> Just so you know and you understand what I mean because I say what I mean and I mean what I say okay that where most people see chaos I see sometimes I see opportunity and that same three four little lines I put on that piece of paper and I paper and I created this Remember, there was a line over here somewhere. There was a line here. There was a line up here. There was that circle there. So, that's just how my brain works. 